Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to another FNAF news video. This video is basically a follow-up one to the last video we did covering Scott's new game. What could he be working on? We don't know just yet, but we have some more information that can help lead us on the right path. I'll be honest, it's, it's not much, but it is something. And uh, as a little bonus for this video, we also have some FNAF AR news that we can talk about as well. So if you haven't seen the first video, I caught up there, link in the description, go watch it, come back. There has been some more news on what Scott could possibly be making. The last time, he just said that he's busy working on a game that he is making himself alone and that he hopes will be out uh, later this year. And the person who gave us that news liberally, thanks for the shout out by the way, I appreciate it. Go check out her channel, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. She makes great content. She has actually been talking with Scott through email about whatever he's making. Liberally said, while everyone is sleeping, I'm chatting with Scott. I asked him about a new game. By the way, this is all translated from Russian. Grammar might be a little bit off. That's Google Translate. I'm sorry. I show 3D work of one person from my team. Thanks to Scott for the letters. I'm very glad that he is interested in my videos and us. But I hope that Scott will not kill me because I posted the same screenshot in Reddit. So she posted this to Reddit and we'll look at that in a second. So this is the email. Sorry, you'll have to wait for information like everyone else. I was happy to say hello on your channel, but I can't always answer back or join the streams. I'm usually very busy. Thanks for your support though, I will still check your videos sometimes. Take care, Scott. Yes, the characters look very good. So they've been chatting about the game. Um, Liberally doesn't show what she said to Scott, just Scott's responses. So we don't really know where, this, where the conversation started off with and how it got to this point. But the characters look very good. That's always good. And something that people pointed out in the last video is that this might not be FNAF. That's something I completely overlooked, but this might not be a FNAF game. Of course, it could be Freudian Space 3, it could be, um, what was the other one? Another FNAF World update, like Update 3, or FNAF World 2, though I highly doubt that seeing as Scott hates the first game so much. I also got corrected that Into Madness was being developed by Steel Wool, which may or may not have been converted into Security Breach, I don't really know. And to those people saying that Scott is making Security Breach, he's not. Steel Wool is making Security Breach, and Illumix is making FNAF AR, so he's not working on those projects. It could be another Chipper and Sons game. It could be another troll fun game, yay! Um, kind of like what Into Madness was supposed to be, you know, like a tongue-in-cheek uh, update 2 type of game from FNAF World, like Foxy Fighters. It could be The Desolate Abandoned, which was the sequel to The Desolate Hope that Scott dropped because he wanted to keep going with FNAF. It could really be anything. All we know is that Scott is making a new game by himself that really could be anything. It might be a new franchise altogether. He might be creating something entirely unique. Yeah, so on the Reddit, people are just speculating, oh, you know, FNAF World Update 4, he's skipping 3 because he hates it so much. Pretty in Space 3, some people want like a FNAF fighting game. Chippers 2, yeah, it really could be anything. I'm seeing Balloon Boy's Revenge. Scott does say to wait for more information, so maybe we'll get some sort of teaser soon. I don't really know, um, because if he's teasing two projects at the same time, that's gonna be a little complicated, because right now he's teasing uh, Security Breach. You know, it has the it has the logo and the title up on scottgames.com right now. Um, so if he's, he if he's teasing Security Breach, and he's also teasing this project at the same time, that's gonna be a lot of teasers. It's gonna be a lot of information. So yeah, really the best thing we can do is wait for more info from Scott, um, whether it will be from a Reddit post, a Reddit comment, a teaser, anything, we just kinda gotta wait. So now I wanna talk a little bit about FNAF AR because we have some more news about what could come in June. So Kieran, the CEO of Illumix, um, posted to Instagram 
portfolio today. She says, definitely looking for some strong Monday motivation to start out this week. Last week was difficult for me. It was hard to stay 100% focused on the job I love because there was so much happening in the world. I took some time off work to listen and learn as well as stand up and act for what I believe in. There were times I felt completely broken and times I felt hopeless. This is not an issue that will be solved in just one week. I'm going to continue to work towards for a new, better normal. I hope everyone continues with the same momentum as the past week so we can all make a lasting change. Very nice words. And then she says, but for now, getting my head back to Freddy, coffee, and lots of work. Big things are happening this June for FNAF AR, and I'll be posting here regularly with what's going on and maybe even a few sneak peeks. So that was really nice. Um, yeah, so big stuff coming to FNAF AR this month. Very exciting. Uh, some speculations. Maybe a new character? If she's saying that they're getting back to work, I'm guessing maybe they're all going back to Illumix headquarters. Um, and continuing progress with new characters. I don't know who they could be adding next. Um, if we want to go off of our past theory about what the next big update for FNAF AR is, maybe it's the new engine with Plus Trap. Um, that's a possibility. Or it could just be another character, which I'm completely fine with. Um, Puppet, maybe. I feel like that's a strong possibility. They're still not done with all the FNAF 2 characters, so I feel like they're going to continue on with those guys. Or maybe um, Arcade Mayhem was the final wrap of FNAF 2, and they're like, alright, you got, what, eight toy characters? You got eight characters from FNAF 2, let's move on to maybe if they want to do the Phantom characters, or if they want to skip past those guys, go right to the, um, excuse me, right to the Nightmares. Or there's been a lot of speculation about Scrap Baby, I guess they were in the files. There's a lot of characters in the files that I don't really know who we can expect anymore now because there's just, there's been so many leaks and honestly I don't know if any of them are truly true. Yeah, that's really all exciting. Um, if she is going to be doing some sneak peeks, I'll leave her Instagram in the um, description so you can go check it out every now and then. Give her a follow and then we can check out those new sneak peeks and I'll of course, do some videos on them in case you miss them. But if you want to make sure you don't miss any sneak peeks, you know what to do. I'm talking about subscribing, of course. Hitting that like button, too. Anyways, that's basically it. Um, all the news so far. I'm really looking forward to what we have um, coming this month for FNAF AOR. And also, I'm looking forward to more information on what Scott is cooking up currently. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.